Okay, so to be very, very honest with you guys, most of my family members are from teaching professions. They are teachers, professors, lecturers or something on those lines. And because it is in my blood, I do research a lot about teaching jobs. I do go through teaching jobs after every couple of months, I believe. And it was a secret that is now not a secret because I just told you guys. So basically, I did a lot of research on teaching jobs specifically here in Oman. And on my last video, where I talked about how to find a job in Oman, the expenses, the salaries, the family the visa the rents etc etc i got a lot of you asking about a specific teaching jobs here in oman and how to apply for them and the you know the questions related to that i'll be able to talk through all the important points that you need to know before you apply or if you're looking for a job for a teaching job here in oman so if you're interested in it make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment the, any questions or any um, comment that you have and also make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that bell notification to receive the notifications i make a lot of videos on my channel basically just to go through my channel you'll see a lot of different kinds of videos uh so yes let's just start the video okay so the first thing that is very very important is obviously the qualification what are the degrees that you need to have to apply for a job here in oman uh, so the first thing that you need to have for a teaching job is a graduation degree the minimum degree required is basically the graduation degree so you need to have a graduation degree um, and then on top of that, the second thing that you need to have is an education related degree. Now, this is very, very important. Education degree is generally known as B.Ed. B.Ed is a two years degree program that uh, is done to learn more about teaching. It is, it is very specific to like teaching to people who are looking forward to become teachers. Um, that is like specifically designed for them. So the B.Ed is uh, very, very important to apply for a teaching jobs. Now, in Pakistan, I know like you need to look in your own country what is uh, the rules and re regulations there. But in Pakistan, you can also get a four years B.Ed degree, which actually is like two years of a bachelor's and a two years of B.Ed, um, which uh, concludes into four years of total education, which is also acceptable as a B.Ed here in Oman. Okay. So now the third thing that is a very important thing and I got to know about this very, very recently is the national teaching license. Okay, the national teaching license is a license that is given to you by your own country that you are eligible to be an international teacher basically. So in Pakistan, you have to pass the Pakistan teaching license examination PTLE. Again, you have to research in your own country because I'm from Pakistan. I'm telling you this, that you have to pass the PTLE. This will give you a teaching license that is eligible uh, internationally. So that will give you an edge over other teachers because now uh, you also have a degree, an education degree, and also a teaching license that um, allows you to teach wherever you want to. Now, the fourth important thing that you need to have in order um, under the umbrella of qualification is your IELTS. Now, IELTS or TOEIC, which is also standard for uh, English language communication skills assessment kind of a thing. But generally, um, you know, we, we talk about IELTS is the most uh, commonly used to certification basically so IELTS is basically not a certification it's an examination that you give it's an English language examination so it is important because this actually proves that you have good English language and communication skills uh, which helps you to get a job so it will increase your chances of getting a job drastically um, here in Oman especially okay so now we have talked about qualification and all the degrees the next important thing that you need to know that is very very related very much related to all those degrees are the attestations now you need to have certain attestations if you are applying for a job uh, internationally specifically in oman so you need to get all your certificate attested you need to get your graduation certificate attested you need to get your diploma certificate attested you need to get your b.a degree attested everything will be attested from ministry of foreign affairs of your country so that it uh, actually proves that you have done those degrees and those are the real degrees and uh, then those degrees are acceptable on the international borders, um, specifically in this case here in Oman. So that's very important. Make sure that you have your degree. So if your degrees are not being issued to you, make sure that you get your degrees issued. I know, you know, there's an entire process um, sometimes and then get your degrees attested also. Okay, very important. Now coming to the next point, which is the experience. What is the experience required to apply for a job? Just like any other job, if you have more experience, your chances of getting a job increases. Uh, that's very same here um, for teaching jobs here in Oman also. 
सो द मिनिमम टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस जितनी मैंने जॉब देखी है नंबर ऑफ जॉब दैट आई हैव लुकड अपॉन आई हैव गूगल डेट अ लॉट जस्ट दिस मॉर्निंग एज आई एम फिल्मिंग दिस एंड आई हैव सीन सो मेनी टीचिंग जॉब दैट रिक्वायर्ड मिनिमम टू ईयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस ओके सो द मिनिमम टू ईयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस आई विल से इज एन एवरेज दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द जॉब्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू हैव इफ यू आर अपलाइंग एज अ टीचर ऑब्वियसली लाइक इफ यू आर अपलाइंग फॉर एनी अदर सुपीरियर पोस्ट दैन यू माइट रिक्वायर मोर एक्सपीरियंस बट फॉर अ टीचर फॉर फ्री स्कूल फॉर किंडर गार्डन इवन फॉर मिडल स्कूल दे एटलीस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू हैव एटलीस्ट टू ईयर्स एक्सपीरियंस इफ यू हैव मोर देन दैट देन यू नो गुड फॉर यू बट टू ईयर्स इज अ मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट Okay, so now coming to the most fun part of this video, basically that is the salary for teachers here in Oman. Now, salary highly depends upon your experience also, and also on the type of school you are applying for the job. Now, there are many different types of schools here. There are government schools, and then there are private schools. There are private Arabic schools. There are private English schools, and then there are international schools. I have made an entire video on schools in Oman. So, if you are interested in that, I am going to link that above for you. Go check that video out. In that video, you are going to learn more about schools and the fees and you know things like that. But as from a teaching point of view, uh, you need to look at different schools because different schools offer different salary packages. Um, international schools uh, do prefer people from their own nationality. Sometimes, like it's not a rule, but that's what generally happens. So I'm just you know pointing it out right here. So if you are from India, for example, uh, look uh, into Indian schools because they will give you a better chance or a better shot of getting a teaching job there. Okay, so the average salary of a teacher here in Oman is around five hundred to six hundred OMR. On top of that, you get the money for the rent also. um which is really cool and then you get all the perks like you get the insurance and then the discount for your children if they are going to go into the same school etc so that's all uh, you know adds up to the salary and then you know it it kind of like rounds up to around like 700 800 sometimes up to 1000 again it depends upon the type of school you are applying some schools do pay you like 1000 OMR 1200 OMR 1300 OMR even and some school will pay you less like smaller schools or if you are just uh, you know applying and you are just at a at a very beginner stage or you are applying to a certain group or you are applying for for a certain subject then your salary might be as low as 300 to 400 OMR um but you know it again depends upon the type of school the subject you are going to teach and the responsibilities that are going to be on top of your head so the general responsibilities here of a teacher again includes lesson plans cross curricular activities uh, report cards assessments and uh, invigilation etc etc kind of tasks that you might be already aware of if you are looking for a teaching job and if you have more questions do let me know in the comments down below check any of the other video right here also follow me on instagram it's under the same name asmana life to get more everyday updates of my life of things around me make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it i'll see you guys next time till then take care bye bye